In this video, I will show you how to integrate your MPC Touch and your MPC software as a plugin inside your favorite digital audio workstation. No matter what your DAW of choice, Pro Tools, Logic, or Ableton as we'll use in this video, the concept is very similar from DAW to DAW. Pretty much everything that I've shown you in this series of tutorials that you can do with the MPC Touch and the MPC software in this standalone version, you can also do with it as a plugin. There's only one caveat to that, and that is the tempo of your project will be dictated by your digital audio workstation. So for example, my Ableton is set up right now with a tempo of 120 beats per minute. Once I instantiate the MPC software as a plugin inside of Ableton, the tempo of the MPC software will slave to Ableton and be in perfect sync with anything that I'm doing inside of Ableton. To open the MPC software in Ableton, I'm gonna go here to plugins, and then because I have an audio unit installed on my computer, I'm gonna go under audio units, and then Akai Professional, and here you see the MPC plugin. Here I have two MIDI and two audio tracks already created. I'm gonna drag the MPC plugin over to the MIDI track and release it. And just like that, the MPC software is now open as a plugin inside of Live. Now when the MPC plugin user interface opens, it looks as if you have maybe a limited version or a limited view of the software, but that's not the case at all. This is the full version of the MPC software with all of the features, and the user interface can be as big and as wide as you need it to be, or as small as you need it to be. And even though I'm now using it as a plugin inside of a DAW, I still have complete control over it with my touch screen. Let's load some programs. So I'm gonna double touch here, then scroll up till I find my drum content library, select my drum kits folder, open my drum kits folder, and I'm gonna filter for programs, and then just load in a few programs into the MPC. So I've loaded in two drum programs, one called Bounce, and another one here. So if I wanted to start my production in Ableton by creating sequences with these drum parts inside the MPC, or if I had production already started in Ableton and wanted to add drum parts or additional samples or sounds from my MPC, Everything would work very much like it did in standalone. But there's one thing that we need to add when we're using the MPC as a plugin, and we need to go into our preferences to make a change. So I'm going to go here to the menu, and I'm going to come down to edit and go to preferences. From preferences, I'm going to click on the hardware tab. And down here where it says record overdub, I'm going to change this from two host to two MPC. Now this is going to allow the record and overdub button on the MPC hardware to arm the MPC software instead of arming your digital audio workstation. So I'm going to say OK to that. Now remember the tempo of the project is based on Ableton's tempo. And I have a sequence on the MPC that has two bars and it's 120 beats per minute because Ableton is at 120 beats per minute. And I'm going to slow that down to about 111 beats per minute. Cool. So now I'm ready to record. All I have to do is arm the MPC by touching here and then go to Ableton and go to the transport and hit the play button and we're ready. So as you can see, the workflow is pretty much the same. It's just like working in standalone. You saw me do all types of stuff, even move the mixer. The only thing I couldn't do was stop the sequence using the stop button on the MPC. And out of force of habit, I reached for the stop button here on the MPC to stop it because I'm used to doing that. 
But if I want to stop it, I just go here to the transport and hit stop. And if I want to play, I just hit play. If I want to slow the tempo down, the NPC's tempo will slow down also because it is slaved to the tempo of Ableton. And that's really the basics of using the NPC as a plugin in Ableton or any DAW. But let's look at it from a different angle. By the way, if your user interface gets closed out and you need to open it back up, you want to go down here to your devices and this represents your MPC plugin and you want to click on the wrench and it will open your user interface. Okay, so let's say you have a song that you've been working on in the MPC in the standalone version and now you want to bring it over and continue to work on it inside your DAW as a plugin. So you're going to go to the menu here Go under File and go under Load Recent if it's a recent project. And of course, you could still do all of this right from your browser on your MPC Touch. So I'm going to hold down Shift and hit Menu. And then I'm going to double tap here. And then I'm going to select my desktop. And I have a folder on my desktop called Touch BWF. And this is the project I've been working on through all the tutorials. So I'm going to filter to just show projects. And then I'll see the projects. I'm going to load it. And it's saying it's going to erase everything in memory. That's cool. Let it load. And just like that, the sequence that I've been working on in all of these tutorials is now open in the MPC as a plugin inside of Ableton. And that's wonderful. But if I don't make sure that the tempo of my Ableton project is the same as the tempo of the project I was originally working on on the MPC, then it will sound like this. That's not good. Everything is completely wrong. So I'm going to go into Ableton and set the tempo to 119.1. Cool. So now I have the tempo exactly right. And let's try playback again to see if it sounds any better now. So this is not an Ableton tutorial, but I don't want to do things and not mention what I did. So I dragged in a audio effect, a brick wall limiter and stuck it down here to kind of compress the overall output of my MPC. And it was a little bit much, so I'm actually going to take it out anyway. So I want to make it clear that if you're an Ableton user and anything that you're used to doing in Ableton, you can still do. The, the workflow is exactly the same. The only difference is now you've added the power of the MPC software and the MPC touch. And if you're used to using that, the workflow of that is pretty much the same, except the tempo is dictated by Ableton. 